All right, what we have here is our WSQ form and a video from a previous course that's been loaded. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at how we're going to capture the information in the video into our notes. WSQ stands for Watch, Summarize, and Question. And those are the three elements of good note taking. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to run through real quickly how this might be used. Some of the videos you watch, you may even be prompted to write certain things down. But we're just going to take this video in its raw form and we're going to take a look at how we might capture some of the information. First of all, as soon as we open the video, um, I can see that this video is associated with um, introduction to ratios item 2. So let's just say we are in a certain lesson. Um, we may want to put in the title here that we are, let me get all this working here, that we are in, I don't know, lesson one, item two. Forgive my sloppy writing. Lesson one, item two. And the first thing we may do is notice that on the screen, they have Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And we may want to go ahead and capture what we're going to be working on the best we can. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And we see here we have a picture of a sun. Hope you can draw better than I can. Another picture of a sun. A picture of a cloud with the sun popping out from behind it. Here we just have a cloud. Here we have another cloud. Here we have another cloud, but in this case we have what looks like lightning and some rain coming out of it. And in this case we have the same thing. Doesn't look like it's gonna be a nice weekend. So now we can go ahead and we can begin watching the video. I'll go ahead and put the video on here. Ratio. Now, ratio differs very much from probability, where probability tells us the chance or the percentage of something happening. Ratio actually compares one thing happening to another. Now, this may be a good example, time to write. You might be comparing sunny days. This might be a good time to write down that ratio compares one thing to another. That's a, a key thing that he said, and it's very difficult to um to know exactly what to write down all the time but I'm gonna write that down because I think it's probably important ratio compares one thing to another Then I'll go ahead and start it up again, and I can see, well, I can see before I even start it up that we're going to be comparing sunny days to cloudy days. See the use of colon. To cloudy days. If we look at our seven-day forecast here, which, by the way, is impossible to predict, even with current technology, um, well, we can see that we have one, two, three days here that have sun. So let's record that here. If we go back up and find how many cloudy days we have, we have one, two, three, four, five days that are going to have some clouds in them. So our ratio of sunny to cloudy days is three to five. See how that differs? from probability. Now, this can be kind of fun because we can get... And now, once again, he brings up another point. So we're going to take a look at lightning. And we're not going to go through this whole video, but I hope you're getting the idea that um, it should be clear in your notes that you have captured the spirit of the information that is trying to be disseminated to you. So, lightning, the clouds, but no lightning. 
And then he will go ahead and get very specific about what we're comparing in our ratio. In this case, I'm comparing lightning or days with lightning to days that have clouds but no lightning. Well, my days with lightning, there's only two days here. And I'm going to compare that with the days that have clouds but without lightning. Well, all of these days here have clouds, but I'm only going to include the ones that have no lightning. So one, two, three. I'm not counting these other ones. And you can see as this video progresses that eventually we should have sunny to radiant to cloudy and we should be writing those numbers down and by the time we're done we've pretty much captured everything that's in the video. Um, questions that I still have um, may be something like how can you have a day that you count as both cloudy and sunny which is something he did. He counted this day as both cloudy and sunny right there. How can you count one day as being both of those things? Shouldn't you make a decision? So that might be one of the questions you write down here. And the summary might be back to this statement that's up here. Maybe the most important thing that you heard is that a ratio compares one thing to another. Here, I'll finish this in case you're wondering what compares one thing to another. And then we'll take this. Um, in this case, if you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm using a bamboo pad with uh, uh, a pen and I'm using the review aspect of Word to write this. I could actually save this as a document um, into my Google Drive, which we're going to put together together. Um, or I could print it out and take a picture of it. Um, I could have had this sitting on my desk and just use a, uh, a pencil and taken a picture of it. But anyway, for um, every uh, assignment that involves sitting down and looking at new information, you're going to be generating one of these forms, WSQ. It's going to be a key part of the course.